body found while police search for 13-year-old Hanya Aguilar is at the State Crime Lab in Raleigh. Good afternoon from the Raleigh Avenue News Center. I'm John Clark. I'm Barbara Gibbs. Thank you for joining us. Today, examiners at the crime lab are working to identify the remains and find out if it is, in fact, Hanya Aguilar. Here is a map showing you where investigators made the discovery. Chopper 11 HD flew over Wiregrass Road in Lumberton, which is one of the three roads in Robinson County where the FBI has been asking the public for surveillance video related to Hanya's kidnapping. Wiregrass Road is about 15 miles from the Rosewood Mobile Home Park where Hania was last seen. Morgan Norwood is live with the breaking details on this. Morgan? Yes, good afternoon. While the state crime lab is working to identify the body that was found yeah. last night, investigators still on the this scene morning. here at Wiregrass Road today. They do have daylight on their side, and that's why they're going back through the scene, combing through everything to make sure they didn't miss any evidence in this investigation. We are still waiting to hear whether the body found last night is that of Hanya Aguilar. It was discovered just before 5 p.m. here off of Wiregrass Road. Now, I want to talk about this area. It is the place where authorities have been pleading with residents to turn over any home surveillance video. Several videos showed a person of interest walking near Rosewood the day Hanya went missing and other images captured the stolen Ford Expedition speeding away from the scene. Investigators tell me they've been piecing together a possible route from those videos and they think Wiregrass Road might have been a road that the suspect traveled. Meanwhile, the FBI says they aren't sure just how long those remains have been here. However, the longer or more decomposed they are, the more difficult it will be for the medical examiners to identify. And at this hour, we know that Hanya's family has been notified of the discovery, but again, they tell us that they are holding out hope that their loved one is still alive. Lastly, as the FBI continues to investigate this case, they say they do not have a suspect in custody. That is someone that they are still working to identify. We are live from Wiregrass Road and Morgan Nor Norwood. Back to you.